In this video, I'm going to show you how to switch your Canon RF 16mm f2.8 lens to manual focus mode. Three, two, one. Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As always, stick around to the end of the video for a bonus tip. All right, so recently I bought a new Canon RF 16mm f 2.8 ultra wide prime lens and I couldn't be happier with it. I'm using it with my Canon EOS R6 and the image is lovely. The price was reasonable at around $300 US and the lens itself is compact, lightweight, weight and great for quick on the go shooting. But something happened to me on the first day that I took it out and I wanted to share in case the same thing happens to any of you out there. So this is what happened. I was using it and I wanted to switch from autofocus to manual focus mode. And I flipped that switch on the side of the lens like I always did with my EF lenses and the lens promptly ignored me. It continued autofocusing away. And upon closer examination, I noticed something. I noticed that the button on the side of this RF lens is not an autofocus to manual focus switch. Instead, it's what's called a focus control switch. And by the way, apparently several of Canon's RF lenses now have this focus control switch, not an autofocus to manual switch. So after a little research, I realized that this focus control switch does something entirely different. The focus control switch does two things. One, when you're in manual focus mode, which I'll show you how to get to in a minute, you can use the outer ring to manually adjust your focus, just like most lenses, but you have to be in manual mode. And two, when you switch the focus control switch to control, the outer ring can now change any number of other settings, including aperture, ISO, and exposure compensation, which you can now configure beforehand. So, and here's the reason why you clicked on this video, here's how you actually change your focus mode to manual on the RF 16mm f2.8. You actually have to go into your camera settings to do it. Sorry, but yeah, that's it. And of course, on a Canon camera, you do this by hitting menu, then going over to the purple autofocus menu, and use the wheel to scroll down to focus mode. Then change it from AF to MF for manual focus. And that, my friends, is how you get an RF lens with that focus control switch out of autofocus mode and into manual. For some, this may take a little getting used to. Personally, I prefer the old auto to manual switch there, but maybe auto to manual will become a customizable option for that control ring at some point. Who knows? Which do you prefer, the old auto to manual switch or the new focus control switch? Leave me a comment below and let me know. All right, let's do a quick tip. If you're buying a new camera and you have a bunch of older lenses that fit an older camera but don't fit the new one, don't forget about lens adapters. A lens adapter will allow you to use all those old lenses you have. For example, when I was upgrading from my Canon EOS 7D to my Canon EOS R6, I had a collection of EF lenses, but the new R6 only took RF lenses. So I dropped 90 bucks for a Velo lens adapter and boom, my old lenses fit my new camera. So if you're upgrading your camera, don't automatically think that you have to buy all new lenses too. A lens adapter is a relatively cheap and easy way to upgrade your kit in stages. All right, as always, if you found any of this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted, and I will catch you next time.